Hello and welcome to episode 37 of series 2 of Become a Legend Story Mode. I'd like to start off with apologising for being very, very much inactive in the comments in the last two episodes on this channel. Uh, I've had a busy few days, a busy week actually. Uh, I had to take Rosie, my daughter, up to uh, Great Ormond Street in London just for a checkup this time, but that takes a lot of time when you live in Devon. Yeah, it's a long, long journey for a checkup. But these things have to be done. And uh, But actually, that was a bit of bad news. Well, it wasn't bad news, that's just life, but I had a bit of great news this week, which relates to Manchester City in a way, is that I have been bought by my amazing younger brother. Shout out if you are watching. Tickets to the Carabao Cup final. Yes, the League Cup final on Sunday. Manchester City versus my beloved Arsenal at Wembley. It's going to be amazing. It's going to make things a bit tricky with videos next week, because also next week, on the uh, the week after the Sunday, I'm going to Centre Parks. Yeah, lovely stuff on probably the coldest week in the history of the world, as far as it looks. But, you know, that can't be helped as well. I'm still very excited. So I'm away from basically Saturday to Saturday next week. So I'm going to try and get as many videos as I can done before I leave. But there may be patchy videos next week. So just warning you about that. But uh, hey, I'm going to the Carabao Cup final. So am I bothered? I am bothered. I am bothered. So hopefully I can get as many done as possible, especially in the Become a Legend series, because we're just at the end of the Master League series. So we could have a um, between season break in that one, but we might not in this. Anyway, less waffle, more football. We're back to Moscow. Well, we're not back to Moscow. We've been to Moscow in the last episode and we grabbed a draw with an important away goal. And now we return to the Etihad and uh, we invite the Moscovians to uh, come and try it on our patch. But, you know, they could get an away goal and that could make things very dicey. So let's get into it and take a look at the teams. Well, we noticed in the last game that their big striker, Olinari, was uh, a real danger man. But they're playing him alongside Alex Iwobi. Interesting decision to play him as a centre forward. We'll see how that pays off for them. It's Gabi Guerra reunited up front. Gabi has been in lovely form back at Santos. Three goals now in three games on his return to Brazil. And uh, we're playing an interesting side today. Much changed from Guardiola. It's got Oxley chamberlain playing as a central midfielder alongside Fabian Delph. We've definitely not seen that formation before. And uh, a rare start for Bernardo Silva out on the right, but he's on a blue arrow at least. Uh, we need to prevent them scoring in this one, so I guess he's brought in Fernandinho over David Silva in that defensive midfield role. Um, but Gabi and Aguero, that always does pretty well, doesn't it? So hopefully we can kill this one off. So here we are at the Etihad, on the road to Lyon. Okay, that's where the final's going to be. Hopefully, we make it all the way to Lyon. We're still in the round of 32. We've got a fair way to go. And as we said, with Moscow getting a home goal, an away goal now would make things tricky. This isn't going to be an easy tie. And their big centre forward gave us uh, definitely gave us problems in the last leg. But hopefully, in front of the Manchester City faithful, you can grab a couple of early goals and then hang on. But it's a very, very changed up midfield. And look at... Have they done that in height order? That is, uh, that's, that's funny. My family used to do height order photos, and they were always good fun. Not something you'd expect to see. Oh, no, hang on. Gabby's slightly taller than Raheem Sterling. That's ruined it. But uh, they've pretty much gone for height order, which is nice. I like that. They should do that more often. First corner of the game. Bernardo Silva over this one. Gabby with a run to the foot. Good header away. Fernandinho, Oxlade-Chamberlain, ball into Gabby, he's on, oh, the left foot finish, he sweeps it home, past the Russian keeper, probably rush. is it Akinfei, I don't know who it is in goal, but anyway, it doesn't matter, Gabby is off the mark straight away, lovely stuff, the uh, play broke down after the corner, it went back out, but we kept the pressure on, actually it was a great ball into Gabby, I'm not sure who it was who provided the final pass, because Fernandinho kept it moving, into the Ox, and then it's Bernardo Silva with a back heel, seemingly to no one. He can't have known that Gabby was making a run there, but he put it into the danger area. I mean, maybe he did. Did he look up? Did he look up? Nope. No look up at all. And uh, defender's got to be unhappy with that. Did he slip? Possibly. Great finish from Gabby. And we're a goal up here. We needed that. So this is good control here from Manchester City. Keeping possession well. That's a nice ball. Now Aguero inside. Oh, and cuts back again. Gabby's made the run to the far post. Aguero cuts back. Keeping it neatly here. Sterling. Gabby edge of the box. Steps away from Jagoev. Oh, and away from another. Can he make it two here? Oh, straight at the keeper. Oxlade Chamberlain will keep it alive. Ball comes back to Bernardo Silva, and the shot is weak and wide. Great footwork from Gabby, though. But should have finished this off. 
stepped away in between the two men. Kept it low, kept it hard. It was a great save. We have won a corner here, but that should have been the two that we really wanted early on to seal this. Here's Jagoev, the captain. He's a dangerous player. Finds Shnekinov in a bit of space. Out to Sahan. He'll cut back in. He's got Olinari to aim for in the box. Ooh, went for the reverse ball. It will fall to Olinari now, though. Out to Fernandez. CSK putting together their first spell of possession. In a meaningful position. That's a dangerous ball into a Wobi. Great punch away from Edison. And Gabby pushes it back into Oxlade Chamberlain. Gabby now picks it up in a deep position. Just to run away from Zagorev. Cuts back inside. Nice ball into Bernardo Silva. He'll slip it in now to Fabian Delph. Lovely ball into Gabby. His first touch is a good one. Finds Aguero. Oof. The keeper somehow kept that out. It was a great first touch from Gabby to keep that in after the reverse ball from Delph. We have won a corner here. Gabby's made a run. <sighs> Couldn't get ahead of the defender. Oh, this is lovely passing here from Manchester City. Aguero first time into Gabby. He'll chip it back into his strike partner. He can keep it in. Finds Gabby here. Keeps it moving to Raheem Sterling. He'll have a go. Gabby couldn't keep it in. That's poor. But good, good passing. Nice, fluid. Short passes. Keeping the ball moving. Aguero always willing to give it to Gabby, which is nice. Raheem Sterling not so much, but he gets the shot away. Gabby receives it from Aguero. Just delays the pass enough to find the Argentinian into the box. Will he have a go here? Go on, just shoot. No. Oh, oh, oh Aguero. Unlike him to be so uh, unruthless. It's not the word. It's a shame, though. That was a good ball from Gabby, and I thought maybe we had a second there. But Aguero... Looking for the pass. We're dominating here at home, as we should be against CSK Moscow. And uh, we've got to score that second goal. That's a key, key element of this second half. Let's make it safe. We don't want them getting back into this, because then if they get another goal, then we start to be in real trouble. So, yeah, let's kill it off. Come on. Comes Golovin. Beginning of the second half. Interesting ball looking for Iwobi. It's well cut out by his ex-Arsenal teammate, but that's a poor clearance. Olinari with the effort. <sighs> And Edison forced into a vital save there. That was uh, that was really, really poor. What happened there? Oxlade Chamberlain, hospital pass there into Fernandinho, but he didn't do much with it. He had time, more time than he thought. So it's Jagoev to whip this one in. Gabby's there at the near post, heads away. So strong in the box, offensively or defensively. And uh, now we're a long way back for the break. Guerra is all on his own. Can he hold it up here under pressure from Schneckenhoff? Of course he can, and that's a lovely bit of footwork there. Still Aguero. Still back into Aguero. Finish it, Sergio. Oh. oh, my God. That was almost an incredible solo goal there from Sergio Aguero, showing exactly what he can do. Fernandinho into Gabby. Steps away neatly. Oh, still Gabby. Can he get the shot in? He can. Oof, the low shot is saved. Probably back across the keeper would have been good, but... More great strength from Gabby there in the footwork as well to keep hold of it. Step back inside. He's under a lot of pressure there. Steps away from another challenge. He's got the power to get away from Jagoev, forcing another good save. Patient build up here from Manchester City as Fernandinho looks for an option. He'll go wide into Bernardo Silva. Lovely first touch. A foul surely from Schneckenov. Nope. Referee says there's nothing wrong with that and they'll play on here. And there's a counter attack available as Awobi keeps it well. Into Schneckenov. Surely the guilty party. Tolinari, as we said, a goal now would make things very worrying. Cross is blocked, but the clearance isn't a good one. Sahan now out to Shnekinov. Steps away from Otamendi really well. Jago over the far po Oh, there we are. There we go. That is exactly what we didn't need. And now we're in a very precarious position. If CSK go on to score now, then we are in trouble in terms of away goals. We've still got to go and win this. But now, if they score again, we're in real trouble. We weren't really able to clear our lines. It came from a ridiculous foul from Schneckenov there. Who put, think that was Schneckenov who put the cross in for Jagoev at the far post. I mean, there's going to be a lot of talk about that in the media. There was definitely a foul on a Man City player in the build-up to this goal. And then Mangala caught out poorly at the far post. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Wobi spreads it wide well. And they've kept possession here. It's well tracked. Got a lot of men forward here if we can do the right thing with it. Gabby's made a good run. It is Mangala inside of him. Oh, Gabby steps away. And now he can slip in Aguero. Gabby wants it now. Sterling will put it in. Gabby's there for the header. 
We've pushed Mangala forward. We're going all out here. It's probably not the defender I would have put forward. Oh, and that's a poor ball from Sterling. And now we could get caught out here. Oh, that's an important intervention there. Aguero, can he slip in? Gabby. Gabby steps back inside. No, it was always too crowded there. 72 minutes gone. Well, we're definitely going for this with Mangala up. I feel like we're going to get caught out here. What we don't need is another goal. As we've said, Anasovic into Sahan. He's going to make his way into the box now. He'll get a shot away. And Edison can only punch it wide. And John Stones can't get to it. This is looking a little precarious now. Here comes Bernardo Silva. Got a bit of space to run into as well. Gabby's pulled off. That's a great ball into him. Gabby with the right foot. Oh, you've got to get to that. You've got to get to that, Mangala. Meant to be a striker. It was a great ball from, uh, from Bernardo Silva. Just couldn't get the right connection with it. They went with the right foot shot. Jago in. CSK player will get there first. Oh, Otamendi has to clear wildly out for another corner. Oh, my God. We're keeping all three players up front, one of which is Mangala. I mean, that is an odd, odd choice. And uh, they've definitely got the height advantage in the box at the moment. Lovely work from John Stones. Sterling will move it on to Aguero. Gabby pokes it back into his path. The far post now looking for Mangala. Oh, and it's going to be full time here at the Etihad. And it's going to go to extra time here. We didn't need that, really, in terms of the league, in terms of minutes played. And you would have to say that some of Gabby's missed chances earlier in the game have come back to haunt us here. And uh, this game now sits on a knife edge. CSK have played their way into this massively. If anything, they're the better side in that second half. And now extra time. There's going to be some tired legs. And uh, I just really have no clue what Guardiola is doing. I mean, it's the least Guardiola thing in the world, sticking a centre-back up front in the 70th minute, trying to get the win. Football historians amongst you might want to tell me if he's done that before, but I find it hard to believe. Gabby wants it short. Oh, turns away beautifully. Looks to curl this one. Curls it over. That first touch, the Cruyff turn was gorgeous. Let's take another look at that. It was a simple ball back into him from Bernardo Silva. Nope, from Oxlade-Chamberlain. Lovely turn away. Looks to curl it. It's well wide in the end. Mangala does well to keep it. Now Lacazette into Gabby. Gabby looks to slip it through. Into Alex Lacazette. Now Mangala, edge of the box. Delph into Gabby. The low shot is available. Ignasevic comes across, gets the block in. Maybe a dummy would have worked there. This game is so open now. Both sides putting all of their men forward. It really is going to be down to one mistake, you feel. It's probably going to be a defensive one, since we don't have any defenders. Gabby with a header at the far post of the bar. Oh, it could fall anywhere, but it doesn't. Will Lacazette get to that one? He will. He's got fresh legs. Oh, it's gone way out to Sané. Now Delph. Bernardo Silva will have an effort. Gabby will be able to get to this one. Back to Fabian Delph. He'll have a go. Oof. And that's another good save force there. This is turning into a classic. Shots flying in. Mistakes. Ridiculous formations. Can we get that goal? Had a lot of corners here. Gabby's made a good run this time. Surely. Yes, there it is. Gabby. So good in the air. So dangerous from corners. And uh, he got away from his marker. Slipped away from his marker again. Like a spectre in the night. And uh, yeah, good finish. I mean, he's had three or four chances to score from corners. And this time, marker nowhere to be seen. And number 96 heads it past the uh, Russian keeper. He's had a good game up till now. He's made three or four world-class saves. But that one just out of his reach. And it's a massive, massive goal here. But can we hang on to this? Will we go defensive now? Uh, looks like Mangala is no longer playing up front, which is a, definitely going to help. And there we are. Well, it's the first half of extra time is over. We've really ramped it up in terms of shots, actually, in that first half of extra time. Can we see this one out? Let's hope so. Chalov inside to Zhagoev. Oh, shot comes in and that's an incredible finish. And now we're in massive trouble. Now we have to score twice. That could be it. Is that it? Hang on. What happens there? Oh, I don't even... I hate having to work these out, especially on the fly. So they now have three away goals. We have one away goal. So we need to score... Oh, no. If we score one now, we win. As it stands, they will go through. 
We need to score. That's right, isn't it? Oh, my God. I mean, that was a good finish, to be fair. Mangala back up front, gets the header on. Gabby will find Lacazette now. Out to Leroy Sané. Gabby wants it short. Into the box. Steps back. Still Gabby. Oh, it's fallen. It's fallen to someone. Gabby will get in there and he grabs his hat trick. <laughs> With just, just a war of attrition type goal there. Chaos theory in play. The ball bouncing off everyone on the pitch. And it fell to Gabby. You've got to say, just keeping on going. Just resilience. Just keep trying. That seems to have been what's worked for us today. It wasn't beautiful. But it was a goal. Let's see what happened there. Into Gabby. Even on basically nothing in terms of uh, in terms of energy. It just seemed to fall to him. At the moment, he does have magnets for feet. And the ball is something that is magnetised. Oh, I just... I love how I have such a way with words in these important moments, but let's not forget how important this goal could be taking us through in what has been an epic, epic game. We can't keep hold of it here. And we're going to give them another chance, I'm sure, now as Milanov will get to this head of Leroy Sané. But Sané shows a great burst of pace. Second half substitute, and then we hump it up the pitch to Lacazette. Great first touch from the Frenchman. Gabby's made a run inside. Lacazette, still with fresh legs, is going to get away from his man. And he'll get the left foot shot in. It's not a bad one. But it wasn't a goal, and that's what we need. To Mendy, good header. Gabby, the back heel into Lacazette. One more ball, please, Alex. No. Don't let him break. The game nearly over here. <laughs> we maybe could be more conservative. And there it is. We didn't need to be. And we somehow come away with the win. As it looked for all of the world. Like Moscow had pinched it right at the death. But Gabby got his hat-trick goal. To win us the game. It wasn't his prettiest goal. It was by no means his best goal. Almost beautifully worked. But it was probably one of the most important of his Manchester City career. To take us through to the round of 16. This was not a game that we needed to be taking to extra time. It's one that we could have won in the first 20 minutes. Gabby could have won it in the first 20 minutes. But we couldn't put it away. And that cost us. And it's going to cost us in terms of fatigue in the league. As we go to Leicester now in the next game. But positives obviously are that we managed to win it, although with 14 shots on target, you would hope so. You really would. Gabby gets man of the match. Only a seven with a hat-trick suggests that a lot of our play probably wasn't that great. But hey, not to worry. Keep that goal tally going up, although it won't help for the golden boot. It may well help, as uh, someone mentioned in the comments of the last episode, with our push for the Ballon d'Or, which uh, has got to be a possibility at this point. So an intense finish to a very, very long game. And it was Gabby, the hero. At the death. And now he's scored 19 goals and 15 appearances. That's, uh, that's, that's a decent record. Still haven't quite got to that 84 finishing. But we are up to 80% manager trust level. Which uh, it, it, that's nailed on. That basically means. So who will we be playing in the quarterfinals? I mean you would have said that CSK was a fairly easy draw. But we... Oh it's Everton. <gasps> wow. The storyline. The narrative. The plot has thickened. The team that we left. For glory, we will now play in the quarterfinals. That is sure to be an intense derby. And uh, some already calling it the Gabby Derby. But now is not the time to worry about the Gabby Derby as we're straight back in to an incredibly tight Premier League title race. And we are starting today, despite probably being quite tired, but with the amount of goals that we're scoring, can't really be dropped. Uh, let's take a look and see how many games we've got left. So we've got Leicester today. They are languishing in 15th. They're not having a great season, to be honest. Then we've got semi-final against Manchester United, just a, a small matter of that. And the first leg of our quarter-final against Everton, who we then go to play in the league. Three games against Gabby's old side in a row. Oh, it's all lining up perfectly. Thank God I wrote the script for this series. And then Manchester City-Sunderland, that's a game that we would hope to win. And then we have the biggest game of the season. Well, not so big anymore that Chelsea are top of the league, but we'll have to see how that goes. But... It's going to be a tough one anyway. Away at United is always difficult. A Manchester derby, always exciting. And then we've got two, three games left till the end of the season. So, I mean, there's there's time left in the league. Only a handful of points. I think it's three points off Chelsea. Uh, but as we've said for a long time now, every game absolutely massive. And it is Gabi Guerrero's start against Leicester City. Let's take a look and see what we're doing with the rest of the side. Mane back in, David Silva back in. That's great. Yoyo Torre and Gundogan. That would be my preferred 
midfield duo, I would say maybe take out Torre. I thought actually Oxlade Chamberlain did pretty well as a central midfielder. Um, but this is clearly his first choice. It looks like he put, gave a few players some chances in the Europa League. And uh, that came back to bite him very nearly. Guardiola made some odd decisions there. Mangala played all, I would say, about 50% of that match up front. Didn't really work. Leicester City have got Manchester City old boy Ian Acho up front alongside Jamie Vardy. And they've got a pace of Moussa out on the left. And they've got some slightly suspicious looking players in their back line. A very, very ageing Wes Morgan, 73 rated alongside Knight, who's 64 rated. And then Jakubovic in goal, only 74 rated. Schmeichel on the bench. So, happy days. Hopefully we can keep that golden boot push going and uh, get a, uh, a tidy three points. Although things haven't been as easy in the league recently as we would like. So you may remember that recently we had a very, very tough away game against Watford. Another sort of mid-table side who can often perform well above that on their day. And I feel like this is going to be a tricky one. And the only thing that's really given me a bit of hope is they have got a very, very poor defence and not a very good goalkeeper. And with Gabby scoring way more than a goal a game at the moment, you'd expect him to uh, come up trumps here, especially alongside Aguero. Can Gabby Aguero link up again? We haven't seen it as much. Hopefully we can today. Let's go. Mane. Long ball into Aguero. Gabby continues his run. Looks for the pass from Aguero. He's going to look to poke this into the path of... Wow! Who was that? Gundogan. Off the mark there. Great run from the midfielder. And he released a strong left-footed shot. First chance of the game, just wide. Otamendi battles with Jamie Vardy. Good header back there from the England international. He'll receive it back now from James. Fuchs with the overlapping run from left back. This is well worked here. Fuchs will find Vardy in the box. Back to Christian Fuchs, the right-footed shot. Fairly regular to sort of take there for Claudio Bravo in today for Edison. Iheanacho, back heel into Vardy. Company comes across. Iheanacho with a good effort. And uh, Mane will get there. I'm sure Iheanacho will be keen to score against his old club if he gets an opportunity. So first corner of the game, almost half an hour in, and we've seen nothing in terms of goal chances. But they've got to be man-marking Gabby Shawley with his record from corners. Keeper gets to this one. Sterling will hit it. It doesn't fall to a Man City player, but we'll keep it moving. David Silva. Oh, Iheanacho with a great challenge. Prevents him putting the ball back into the box. Chances have been few and far between here for both sides. Leicester have looked to hit us on the break. Couldn't get away with that one. Silver into Gabby. Aguero made a good run there. Gabby steps back in. We'll find Yaya Toure now. Aguero! Oof. Gabby turns well. Finds Aguero. Can he hold it up as we make a run into the box? Aguero will take a shot. Not a good one. Mane now. Into Gabby. Steps away. Oh, where's Morgan? After everything we said. Puts an experienced shoulder across us as we go for the shot. And uh, yeah, we're struggling here. Silver over this one. We'll get another go. Gabby's made an early run. The flicked header is in. Oh, you've got to give him more attention than that. You really do. He's proved it time and time again this season. He's got an almost Tim Cahill-like ability to pop up despite his size. Muscle his way across his defender. And uh, yeah, you just can't be giving him... That much space. Got ahead of... Who's that? Who was that? Knight. I think it was that not very well-rated centre-back, actually, you got ahead of. Yeah, you've got, to, you've got to show him some respect. I mean, that is beautifully glanced past Jakubovic. It's two-headed goals in his last two games. I mean, it could be four or five in his last four or five. I can't remember. We've scored a lot. But what a time to score it here, away from home, just before the half. Much needed. And there we go. We'll go in with a goal. Thanks to the head of Gabby. And uh, I wouldn't say it was necessarily a deserved one, but neither side really deserving to go ahead. Um, it's been tight. It has been tight. As we expected, Leicester have given us quite a battle. Hopefully in this second half we can just relax things a little. Because I think Leicester are going to try and hit us on the break. They have done so far. So we just need to be uh, yeah, just wary. Play our game. Pass the ball around. And then finish them off. Let's go. Musa. Nice footwork from him. And he's fine. Fuchs has made the overlapping run. Always a willing runner. Not a good ball, though. And Gabby with a simple pass into Gondo, and that's well worked. And now we've got options here. Sterling's made a run wide on the left. Aguero can see him, and he will see him eventually. Not the right ball, though, to find him. But still, we have it here. Oh, Wes Morgan charging through, wins that back. We should never have badmouthed him. And now, Leicester have got a chance. If Ian Canacho can spot the run of Mares, but he spots the run of Musa instead. 
into the box now inside to Jamie Vardy. That's a great tackle from Nicholas Otamendi and a much needed one. Comes Jamie Vardy as Leicester look to break into Nacho. Back out to Musa. That's a good ball. The ball into Vardy is available. Otamendi again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that, <laughs> that would have been beautiful. As I noticed, Aguero gets scythed down there and decided to fake the pass, but it was pulled back by the referee anyway. But if that tackle hadn't been made, Aguero was through on goal. It was a great one through. That is brutal. And <laughs> Aguero face plants. Was it a yellow car for Byram? It should have been a red, really. Clear goal scoring chance that would have been. What can Yaya Toure do from this position? Hopefully fight a ball into the far post. Now he's gone for goal. That's stupid. Oh, Gabby's read that. Morgan gets there just in time. Vardy lets it run and he's going to get there ahead of Sadio Mane. Back inside, Mane makes amends. Thank God for that. And then Toure, calm under pressure. Gabby wants him all over the top. He'll battle with Wes Morgan. Morgan comes off the better. Ball over the top into Gabby is available here. Oh, nearly takes it down. He will take it down. Fell to him, but the shot was blocked. Byram into Slimani, the substitute. Under pressure, finds Hyatt again. Now Byron can put a ball in, but it goes back to Ackham. Oh, that's a great ball into Vardy. Claudio Bravo with a great save. We need these three points today. We can't be giving away a late goal here. Oh, and he's drawn the foul there from Wes Morgan. To be fair, Morgan's had a good game. He's had Gabby's number a lot of times there, but Gabby, smart play as we look to wind the clock down here. Just saw the contact coming, stepped away. Only three minutes left in this one. If we were smart, we'd keep the ball. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good work. Into the corner to grab those three points. Steps away from... Oh, no. Knights won it back. That's not smart. That's not smart at all. And now they will have one more chance at an attack here. As the 90th minute comes around. Hayat into Slimani. We've got to keep hold of this. Ball out to Ackham. One minute left, says uh, the assistant referee. Byron will stick it back inside. Oh, they get a no, 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 no. No, and they're going to have a corner here with seconds left. I mean, the full time and extra time has been elapsed. They'll get one more opportunity here. Can Gabby use his heading skills to try and prevent a goal? It's going to be a chance for Bravo to punch away. Mane can get a touch to this. Gabby can. And that's got to be full time here. As I think Mane was fouled in the process of clearing. Oh, we've not made it easy. We've not made... Oh, no. No way. Fuchs over this one to win it. No, it's going to be Hayat. And the wall blocks it. Out to Wakam. Moose at the far post. Puts it across the box. And that is full time here at the King Power. Well, we have had two very, very stressful games. Ultimately, though, it has been Gabby's goals that have seen us not only go through to the quarterfinals of the Europa League, but grab an important three points what is always going to be a difficult away game and uh, very much a different story to the Moscow game where uh, we didn't have many chances. Gabby didn't have many chances at all. Once again, though, it's his prowess from corners that's won us this game. I think he's, I mean, if he ever was underrated as a target man, clearly now you've got to be rating him and you've got to be uh, showing him some respect when those crosses are coming in. You've got to double team him at least, maybe triple. So there we have it, a big three points there. And how have Chelsea fared? Chelsea dropped points. 2-0 draw with Villa. They'll be disappointed there. But United with a comfortable 3-0 win against Sunderland. Go top of the table. But that's fine. We've got the... Oh no, we don't have the goal difference. Chelsea have got a better goal difference than us. Um, but we will still go to Old Trafford now with a chance to go top of the league. If things stay as they are. But my God, you could... You couldn't get a Rizzler paper between the top of the table at the moment. One point separating the top three teams with only a handful of games left to go. And in the next episode, the excitement doesn't get any less as we go up against Manchester rivals, Manchester United in the semi-final of the FA Cup. Oh, it's going to be a big one. It's going to be a big... Oh, that's nice. It's nice. I've not seen that before. That's a really nice little, uh, little image there. I'm a big fan of that. And it's going to be a massive, massive game. So we've got United in the FA Cup, followed by a couple of friendlies. And then we've got Everton in the Europa League. It's going to be a massive one. So as I said, because I'm away and because of the... Uh, Myself going to a final. I'm not sure when this one will be out. It could well be out on Sunday as planned. It might not be. You'll have to wait and see. But whatever happens, it'll be worth turning up to. I assure you that. I'll see you in a bit.